going on guys uh welcome to the channel uh i've got uh javier uh here he is our uh our planar pixel uh professional uh we've got a couple modules uh that need to be uh a couple modules in our cabinets that need to be replaced on uh, this video wall and he's going to kind of uh walk us through the steps uh tell us what, what kind of video wall we have here uh so this is a planar dlx 1.2 millimeter video wall uh there's about 68 screens up there uh individual but, modules yes individual modules that are all connected together to create a virtually seamless wall uh, it's a fairly new type of technology that just came out um, about two years ago two and a half years ago um, and we keep just getting get smaller and smaller pitches but this 1.2 is very very amazing uh, each half of this wall uh, what you're seeing is is a, a little more than a 1920 1080 uh, native resolution uh, but you can see how clear the image is and that there's no lines in there you know like our LCD products where you still have that thin bezeled line here you have a full size image with no lines in there sweet so so we so we've got a little uh, a little purple box on one of the modules so we're gonna pop that uh, we're gonna pop the whole cabinet out uh, and we're gonna show you guys how to take it out and we're gonna take the module out replace it and uh, get it back up so let's uh, get you up on the ladder and Show us how to do that. Yeah. All right. So this is the DLX or DL2 toolkit that ships with every, every wall that's sold. Uh, you have your two magnet tools uh, that take off and put on the uh, whole assembly onto the, uh, onto the video wall. You have your three millimeter hex driver. What this does is that uh, aligns the cabinets uh, level, top and bottom. You have these two magnets right here. Uh, these are used for taking off the whole assembly off the wall if it's uh, cross-threaded on there or stuck on there. You have this, what uh, us pixel techs, we call the booger ball. It looks like a snot, snot ball. What this is used for if you have gunk on the wall, whether it's food or lint or some type of, some type of uh, ingredient that's on the wall is causing distortions, you can rub this ball on the wall and it usually takes out everything that's on there uh, this is used for taking the uh, magnet plates off upon assembly if something's wrong with the magnet plate initially you can take it off and then you can repair it or send it back for an RMA here's your lock and key for the box And this isn't really needed with these uh, smaller pitches, but what it does is that it lays on a shader that's used in these bigger pitches, 1.5 all the way up to 2.5. Uh, the way we measure LEDs is center of diode to center of diode. So with these 1.2 and 0.9s and 0.7s, the center is very minimal. Once you get to 1.5 and 1.8, it's a little bit thicker. So we have these shaders that allow the customers with these bigger pitches to uh, uh, get the deeper darker blacks that you still get with the 0.9s and 0.7s um, That's about it it's essential to keep this close to the video wall just in case Something happens uh, these can be dropped off a ladder. So if an installer comes in drops his or hers off the ladder It's good to have this close to the site. So then she or he can use your guys's spares cool All right, any special order we need to when we're uh, pulling these uh, panels out? Nope, you just uh, two, three turns each corner, and then work your way around. Two hands on the spinner. And why do you, and why do you put that blue tape on the uh, screen? <laughs> it's just so I uh, can confirm I take the right the right uh, module out. Yeah, you can see how the panel's starting to come out. At least we can watch some Trump news. Slide the little handle up, and then lift it up, and then it should come right off. And then unplug the cables. Plug the power last. So face down on a soft flat surface. Yep. 
you don't want to cause any more damage than what there already is. You're going to take off these uh, golden standoffs. Which model modules are we working with here? This plane uh, that's going to be a 1.2 millimeter. You can use a drill to take off these screws, but if you do that, you increase your chances of stripping and then entering a whole new world of problems. And that's a number one Phillips head screwdriver? Yes, this is a P1. Oh yeah, all our products have arrows on them. Handle on the top means that this is the top of the panel. You have arrows on all the boards and all the sheet metal. Make sure everyone's facing the right direction for the install. <clears throat> kind of give yourself a little edge right here by prying these jumpers. Not too much pressure. There you have it. Then you have your screws. The screws attached to the module are gonna be a, a size two Phillips. one and the panel should just drop out <clears throat> it should just drop out uh, they do put tape on the back of the modules in the factory to kind of make the modules all level within the cabinet so it might get a little sticky but sometimes it just falls out just like that so the way that you can tell that you have the right batch uh, look at the back of the stick of the label on the cabinet it says a dash 09 so you're going to confirm with the stick on the box that it says dash 09. DLX 1.2 module, confirm that those are the right part numbers and you should be good to go. And if the batch is different, they might have a different brightness or uh, they might have the co batches, colors might be different? Exactly. So uh, that if you put a dash 08 module, for instance, it'll be a little bit dimmer or a little bit brighter than the rest of the modules. And no matter if you send it the right firmware as the rest of the modules, it'll always look different. So get the batch number right. Correct. <laughs> and then we're just going to put everything back in the Always same way. Always arrows up. If you put it arrows down, the cabinet will not turn on because it'll be shorting the controller board. So always pay attention to the four arrows that planar has on the boxes, the back of the modules. Slide it in. Confirm that it's smooth on the top, smooth on the left. The screws that go on the modules are going to have a little washer on them. The screws that go on the board are not going to have a washer on them. I like to start in the corners, kind of wedge the module into that corner, force it in there. Nice and snug, don't over tighten it. Once you got those two screws in, you don't have to apply no more pressure. It's basically in spate in the spot. Yeah. Uh, once you get to this point, you can use a drill. Um, but you still have the chance of stripping it. And if you strip it in there, um, it makes it harder for the, the next guy that comes if that module has to be replaced or if the client has to replace it themselves, it makes life a lot harder. 
So they're little screws, use a screwdriver. Exactly. Now we just gotta reassemble all the brackets and get everything back together. Put the board back on. And you see the screw, I mean the, the arrow, the arrow's facing up. This is the top of the cabinet. Handle's always the top. that seated in there good arrows and you don't gotta crank these screws down tight no just snug them up you don't have to torque them down and again, there's another arrow there, arrow facing up. If you torque them down, like I said, it just causes more problems in the future. Come on, let's crank them chicken right Yeah. <laughs> there you shouldn't have extra screws left, exactly. Just hand tighten these uh, golden standoffs. What these do is, uh, help that HDMI input from getting pushed in to the socket. So it kind of keeps it in place. The most important last part, always make sure that this is clicked in. You don't want to hang the panel up and then that not power up. Confirm that there's no gaps in the middle or on the bottom. If there is, you'd have to take it all apart and push it down some more. So we're all good there. All right. So hold on, so put it back down. Now the module's completely replaced. Uh, so in order to hang it on the wall, how do we attach it to the wall? We so use on the wall, there's two standoffs that come out with the circle piece on it, and they'll basically go into right here. Uh, and it's got a magnet right here, so it'll, um, attach itself most of the time if you're close enough and then it slides right into there and that's where it's 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 hanging and that's what we call our service mode because once it's hanging on that you have about two to three inches to stick your hand in there and plug in and unplug any uh any cables or tuck in any cables to make sure you're not hitting anything exactly. right here they go in and out yeah those are the posts that you hang it on yep So that was the control that you plugged in? Yep, control, HDMI. And just explain those cables real fast, you know, how this is so daisy chained together. The top, so it's feeding from the bottom panel all the way up. So the top output are gonna feed to this top panel. The bottom inputs are coming in from the panel below it. Always plug in the uh, control and HDMI before plugging in the power. Reason being, the power cable is a lot shorter than these other cables. So if you plug in the short cable first, it's just gonna make it a little bit harder on you. And you wanna be real careful when you're setting this thing because you don't want this cabinet to touch one of these other modules. Correct. It's already on the wall. Get your uh, cables out of the way. You don't want to be pinching any cables. Once those are all out of the way, you want to get a little push in there. Get your magnet tool. Bring the ones around it out a little bit. Uh, because when it comes to Planar's products, it's a game of millimeters, not inches. So any little space that you can create yourself will help you in the long run. Again, always keep two hands on the spinner at all times. And like what, take it off, just go to every corner, two to three turns, 
Slide that box out of the way so we're not seeing my name on the screen. those all good now you can bring the ones they took out smooth to the touch This is the bad module, so we're actually, we got the mad, bad module and we stuck it back in the box that the good module came in. Correct. And uh, we obviously have a piece of tape, blue tape on there. And on the front of the box, there's this little guy right here. And you just need to check that, mark that for service. Yep. Uh, and then we know we need to uh, RMA that, right? Exactly. That's how uh, we can dignify which ones need to be serviced and which ones are bad so we don't mix match the bad with the good. All right, Javier, you know, I, I really appreciate that. Um, if you can maybe talk to the guys, you know, that are watching, the guys or guys that are watching this, if anybody's interested in walls like this or if they have, or they're having issues with their walls, you know, who, who do they reach out to? Uh, so you guys can go to uh, planar.com and uh, if you're interested in one of the walls and want to get more information on it, we have a bunch of case studies, meaning of all these several products from across the world that we've done. Uh, and you can view the different types of products uh, and then if you if you if you want to, you can uh, you know you can you can move forward and get in contact with the sales or if you do have an existing video wall, you can go and uh, uh, get in contact with the with the service department if you have an issue with that. Yeah, and and uh, and they'll fly Javier out and he'll and he'll, he'll take care of it. All you got all you got to do is is give him a ladder and give him some uh, you know some spare modules and he can fill them up and he can take care of it. So I, I, I appreciate it. Yep. Probably shouldn't shake hands during this COVID thing. I know. Hand uh, sanitizer. But, uh, yeah, we'll hand sanitize <laughs> after this. But uh, yeah, if you guys had any other additional questions, definitely leave them in the comments uh, below. Uh, if this was your uh, first time to my channel, uh, please subscribe. Have a good day.